All right, hey guys, we got a nice easy video for you today. Uh, we're gonna look at the ACS Trigger Mag Pouch. You may be familiar with uh, the frag grenade or the uh, flashbang pouch from ACS. However, they have recently released a uh, M4 Mag Pouch, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and I wanna say uh, right off the bat, I got this for free. Uh, it was kind of unprompted. Uh, the Pizza Surfer on Instagram actually sent me their direction. So they were looking for some people to try some stuff out. And uh, they actually reached out to me before I could contact them. And so they sent me uh, one of these and then one of the frag grenade pouches. So uh, I was playing around with it. I looked at the website a little bit because I, in all honesty, hadn't messed around with ACS stuff at all or even really had a whole lot of interest in it other than knowing that the frag pouches had a, a pretty good feedback. Uh, so... I didn't know what they were sending and I was just browsing the website and I saw this. I thought it was kind of interesting and I'm glad they sent it uh, because it is pretty cool, but it does have some limitations that I think it's important you guys know about. All right, so on the website, they talk about it being ambidextrous and uh, that's not at all true. All right, so the back faceplate here, you can actually change the orientation. It's a little counterintuitive. There's two screws, uh, top and bottom. However, it's fixed in the middle here, so it's just a pivot point. Uh, you would kind of think that it would just come all the way off, and it does not. All right, so there's three different positions. Uh, you can have it canted uh, either side, uh, or you can have it uh, directly up and down. All right, it's got a nice uh, stout belt clip here, uh, which kind of functions like a tech lock. You just kind of spread out your, your foot once you get it around there, and then push it in, and it locks in place. All right, and then obviously you would have the mount screwed in there. Okay, and then looking at the front of this thing, uh, you'll notice there's this lever here and there's also a lock. So you can pivot this out and that prevents you from releasing your magazine. All right, there's a positive block there. And then if you flip it in, it allows the release to function. Now what you may notice down here is there's a spring-loaded foot in the bottom of this. And really... I'm not super sold on this. And let me show you why, all right? So uh, <clears throat> the button, not the most obvious thing at first glance, but it indexes on the mag release or the, the mag release slot on the magazine. So there's a nice positive uh, retention click in there. And then that's on top of being able to, to lock yourself completely out of the magazine. However, uh, watch what this spring tension does. All right, so those mags come screaming out of there and it does the same thing with P-Mag, all right? Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of force behind that spring and it's kind of surprising. Um, now it's not as bad when uh, you have a good uh, grip on the magazine as you're pushing the release. However, uh, you can't control the orientation of the magazine, which is kind of one of the, the downsides in my opinion. So I was hoping that there was a chance I could use this with my right hand uh, in kind of a cross draw sense, like I did with the flimmer thing. And uh, it really does not work out super well. So you have to kind of grab it like this and it's not the most intuitive. Um, it's, it's a little bit harder to function the release as it would be uh, reaching if this was on your belt with your thumb and doing it. Um, it's it's doable wrong-handed, but it, it's not nearly as smooth. And the other downside is your mag uh, is oriented in the wrong direction if you're drawing with your right hand, in my opinion. Uh, you may be able to make it work for you, but that's that's just the way I feel about it. That said, if you are reloading with your left hand, uh, this thing is pretty slick. And once you get used to the fact that you can't just launch the magazine without retention on it, uh, it's pretty quick and you can get some decent reloads in there. It's also uh, super well made. Uh, I can't imagine you're gonna have a whole whole lot of, uh, lot of issues with durability on this thing. The only thing maybe uh, that could be a problem is potentially this, this lock wearing out but i don't think that's a huge downside because i probably wouldn't want to use it anyways and then you know if you if you fell on this thing or if you got your magazine snagged on something i don't know i i, I don't think it's a an issue but you might be able to pull 
the whole thing off of the mount if you really got it hung up on something. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty slick. It's just, it's not for uh, left-handed shooters, All right? Right-handed shooters, have at it. Give it a shot. Pretty cool uh, ACS trigger mag pouch. All right, hey guys, I uh, came off a little half cocked on the first part of this video and somebody pointed it out. So I wanted to get that fixed uh, to better answer the questions. Uh, ammo has been scarce and I've been doing a lot of dry fire, but I forgot that loaded mags are absolutely a thing. All right, so uh, looking at the spring tension in uh, this uh, ACS mag. So first of all, uh, it'll fit with a cry clip on there uh, just in case you're doing that. But uh, this is the spring tension in a, a vertical axis with an empty mag, all right? All right, launches it clean out of there. But no surprise, an empty mag doesn't weigh anything, right? Uh, what I neglected uh, to do, and absolutely my bad, is show you uh, the spring tension on a loaded mag, which would make way more sense, right? So there you go. It doesn't leave the pouch in a vertical uh, orientation. It uh, it pops up nice so that you can get a good grip on it, uh, but it does not yard sail it into next week. Uh, if you have it horizontal, it'll absolutely come out of there. So uh, I don't know if that would really come into play. Uh, if you had it upside down for some reason, uh, you're gonna send this thing straight to China. So uh, just be careful if you decide to do that, but you shouldn't have any issues with it coming out uh, before you are ready to push that button. All right, so uh, sorry about that. Hopefully that answers the questions that came up and uh, this revised video uh, better showcases how this thing works.